Because to start with, if you're on a load, you don't need to feed them. They're there because they want to be there. But if you're in that situation where they aren't there as such, or you're not getting, you haven't found any signs of fish, then doing this is the, completely the wrong thing because you, it's like me chucking it behind me on the grass. I'm not going to catch a carp there because there is no carp there. So the only way then I'm going to get some bites is to fish on my loose feed. And what I would say, like, sort of breaking my match down was what was said before is I felt early on I was probably not casting regularly enough when it comes to dobbing about with my bomb wasn't casting anywhere near as much as much as I should have done but then I'd sort of figured that out that I needed to be casting a bit more regular and then the latter part of my match sort of the last two hours I would say I've had bites on my loose fed line I was a bit too impatient to be honest and what I would say when we're going to go on here was I was fishing like I would do for what I would call big oh there's one for big carp um, so I was feeding, feeding again, and then um, chucking my bomb into it and sort of waiting, being, um, yeah, waiting um, for the for a bite. But what I found was better, to be honest, was a little car. what I found was better was to be is, is the regularly feeding so being able to group your bait so that one's these are they're just absolutely beautiful the little carp here and just immaculate just every one of them is absolutely stunning so if you can imagine we're getting plenty of signs plenty of bites we've we found some fish this is the key now so unclip my hook length whilst me rods underneath my bum pick my next hook length up pick it up from my meat side slide it in my mouth clip him on now pick my rod up and make sure that is set nicely so now I've got a rough idea where I caught that one we'll have one more chuck there Hi everyone, this clip was taken from our Match Focus website. I'm going to be adding a lot more content to our Match Focus YouTube channel, but if you'd like to watch the video in full, a more in-depth look at the rigs, the feeding, bait and decision making, then just head over to the website at matchfocus.co.uk. I'd really, really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to our Match Focus YouTube channel as it really does help us grow. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Drag it back a little bit, just so you can feel your lead move, just to straighten your hook length out. Put my rod in the rest. Make sure it's locked in. Again, same thing. Make sure this bit's done first. Tighten up to him, make sure he's nice and set. Because a lot of the time, these little carp, they just feed. So some of your bites would be like that type thing. That one was a proper bite. So now's the case. Now I know all that's set and it's safe as such. Can't get dragged in. I'm just going to move my hair and I rub the hook. Just feel, is it is it still like sticky sharp or what I call? So as soon as it touches my skin, it's, it's hooked. You know, it's set in my skin. So get my needle. And I, I do this, so I'm looking at it, but I can see my rod. So once I'm doing my hook like so, if I get a bite, so I can see a little liner then. But if I get a bite, I'm not doing it here where the rod's out of view. So I do everything looking at my rod. So then I put my needle in, hold my hook, pick my bit of meat up, get it nicely through the middle, pop him out. Drop my needle back in my water, get everything set, and now I just sort of move my silicon down. I 
and then just double check him. It's absolutely perfect. Just make sure there's nothing on my hook. And there's no snot on the line. And it's done. But it takes a bit of time to do it right. So now, once we rod set, we can have this chuck and then the next chuck, whether we get one or not, I'm gonna have a go on my loose fed. So again, flick me a bit of meat in. Flick me a bit of meat in. And then if this were a match, it's a case of dobbing it about quite regularly. What was important on the day was the amount of times where I chuck it and I'm getting an odd little sign. I'm sat there being a bit too patient, what I would say. And all of a sudden, um, you're looking, you're getting an odd little sign and it doesn't go round. And the amount of times that I've done this, where I pick it up, wind him in. And this is the one nice thing about your Madison smoked sausage, if that makes sense, is it never rips on the hair. So just check me bomb. The amount of times where once I'd found my little spot, I'd chuck it out, having literally chucked it in basically the same, near enough the same spot as it was before. And within, I'd say, 30 to 40 seconds from now, I've had a bite. It's like that noise of that bomb lands, what we were saying before, and they're like, what is that? And then they come and grab your hook bait. So that's what I would say early on. That was really, really important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it another two minutes. If I don't get a bite, we'll have a go on our loose fed line. I just feel like that's going to be the best line today. I'm getting nowhere near the amount of signs that I was getting in the match. But if this is the case, you know, when this is right, it just keeps going round, basically. Yes, there's little things that make a difference in terms of the accuracy, casting, having that lead to make that lovely little plop and being able to tighten up to it using your little lead system and then getting all your hook length so you can be in and out super efficient but if you're chucking and you haven't drawn very well and like if i was looking at this today and i expected not to get many bites then literally i'll probably just fish like a little tiny method feeder and chuck every five minutes so that way i've got a little tiny pile of bait trying to track the fish in my peg so ping me a bit of meat Ping me a bit of meat. It just goes out there so lovely when it's not too windy. One thing giveaway as well is, is if where you're pegged it's very tight and you've only really got the option of fishing in a straight line, when you're fishing across or further than your loose fed line, if you start getting an odd little sign, an odd little indication, that's just such a telltale sign that they're on that feeding line. So I just don't feel, I'm not getting the, the amount of signs that I would expect. So it's been a minute and a half. Then it's just a case of when you're on them, it's just trying to stay in touch with them, to be honest. So, double check everything, that sound. So now let's have a go on that loose fed line. So chuck it just past it wind onto it it's already bumping fish on the way down so that, which is a good sign now when i'm doing this i don't look my rod's like straight away straight away i'm getting signs on my rod tip when i'm doing this style of fishing i there uh, <laughs> i had a little like, like i've had two three indications on my bait within seconds what I I don't do my stopwatch when I'm doing this style of fishing there's one um, that's what it was like when you chuck in basically where they want to be without feeding if that makes sense that's how quickly you were getting the bites but what I what I was saying is I, I don't do my stopwatch I just look down and you know whatever it be in terms of minutes say it's 24 once it's landed and then they just say, well, I'm going to give it however many minutes I want to give it, if that makes sense. 
before rechucking it. I, I don't do my stopwatch. The bite's, you know, quite vicious at times. So I don't want to be messing around with that as such. So, another absolutely stunning little car. So pretty here. Gorgeous, aren't you? Gorgeous, my little mate. So I pop him back in. So it's exactly the same now as when we was in terms of fishing across. So ignore that hook. Clip this one on. Now this is what I found best on the day. Instead of feeding, just chuck it out. So you've got a rough, always aim like two, three meters past where you want to fish. Let it hit the bottom and just pull it back ever so slightly. Get your rod set. Make sure that's done nicely. And now loose feed. So, loose feed with me once. And the amount obviously depends on how the fishing's going. So loose feed my meat, my rod set, and looking 22 and a half. So we're going the same thing. Rub my hook first, because if the hook's blunt, it's pointless biting it up. So rub my hook. I know it's still sticky sharp. Get my needle. Again, same thing in this sort of. Make sure I'm looking at my rod. Do everything in, in the view of your rod. There's one there. See that? Just like rocking my tip. It not, the first bite, obviously, you know, you almost lost the rod. But that's why you want to be doing it in that sort of in your eye view, if that makes sense. So I just pop that hook lamp down. So that one's not ready yet to be fished with because I need I still need to sort my silicon out. And this how cool. Oh, so how quickly I was getting the bites early early on when I was just chucking with a hook bait. So another nice little fish and then late on. I wasn't getting bites, at times I was getting bites that quick on a bomb. But I'd say most of the time, I had to wait slightly longer. It's the same thing.